Hey teachers, this is Kathleen and I'm here to help walk you through how to sign into your hub and assign the digital resources directly to your students via Google Classroom. So you're going to begin on the hub main login page at digital.empoweringriders.com and you're going to choose the green account sign in. From here, you will click directly on Google Classroom link and then you will sign in with your school email address. Once you're signed in, you will go to your purchased items and I'm going to sign in with my um, sixth grade guide. And from here, you can see that now all of the distance learning student assignments are all uploaded right on the very first page of my digital guide, okay? So I still have access to all of the rest of the guide over here in each, each um, section, but all of the distance learning assignments are on the front. Last week, my students did one of the skill focus fun around the house. So as you click on these um, little categories, you'll choose if you're using Google, and then it's going to pop up all of the lessons that we have underneath here. So notice that that one little category took us to several different assignments. So my students actually did um, one of the assignments under here, this food package challenge, and it was a lot of fun. So as you click through, you'll notice that there are many different assignments under each one of these. So today I'm gonna walk you through how to assign the virtual trip journal. Once you click on the assignment, you'll choose um, the Google Slides. And then from here in the top right corner, you will click Assign Resource. As I go through, it's going to pop up all of my Google Classroom classes. Notice that I have several. Um, the teachers at my school, we shared with each other so that we could help out if one of us were to get sick or needed some assistance. So I'm going to choose my 2019, 2020 classes. So I can see on here now um, that I can see each of my class periods, which is a huge help. So I wanna assign this to all of my classes. And then once I have the, chosen the ones that I want, I'll click the green assign button. Once I've clicked the assign button, I'm gonna hop back over to my Google Classroom and refresh my page. And then I wanna click up here at the top on classwork. So one thing you'll notice is that once these are assigned, they will not appear in your stream. You actually have to click on the classwork tab at the top. Also, what you'll notice is that um, they are scheduled out ahead of time. So if I was clicking um, up here to assign the resource, um, it's scheduled out to assign it one minute after I actually clicked it on the site. So it appears to be gray right here. Once um, that minute is up, you can refresh your page and then the assignment will turn blue just like the rest of them. Once it turns blue, you'll be able to click on the virtual field trip lesson. Here you can see how many of your students are assigned. You can be able to, uh, you can look and see how many have turned it in. On the little three dots right here, you can click that and choose edit. From this screen, you can choose um, how many of your students you want to assign it to. You can choose how many points you want it to be worth. One thing that I've noticed um, in Google Classroom is the drop down doesn't work. You just highlight, enter in the number of points that you want and click off. I can add a due date. So maybe I want this to be due uh, by tomorrow at midnight. I can insert that in there. This can also be edited. If you have topics to organize your lessons, you can choose from here. So maybe I want this to go in a topic called Google Slides. <clears throat> and then I click save right up here at the top. If you want to add in any additional instructions, um, you can type those over here as well. So once I've saved it, I'm going to update and now it's ready for my students to be able to access it so they can click on to um, their lesson. So from here, you can see they can get on, they can see how many points it's worth and then have access directly to their um, assignment. I hope you enjoy all of our vo virtual lessons.
And um, I can't wait to share more with you on the blog. Have a great day.